Hello to all traders and welcome to another edition of Market Insights. This video has been sponsored by Orbex once again and we are seeing now uh, looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum and a host of other uh, cryptocurrencies that have actually fallen back into the red uh, in the last few trading sessions. We're seeing in the last few um, days that uh, we saw a move back to up to the 21,000 for Bitcoin but now it's actually started to fall even further below 20,000 and we're seeing this psychological level being tested again and again. Same with Ethereum it seems to be stuck in a bit of a sideways consolidation at the moment we'll look at Ethereum shortly but Bitcoin is what a lot of traders have been asking me about uh, and have been seeing so if we look on the daily chart at the moment we looked on this last week on Bitcoin from the vast ascension at the back end of 2021. It's been in a bear market for quite a long time, but depending what source you read or listen to, uh, apparently Bitcoin is going to be heading towards uh, 28 or 30,000 uh, by the end of the year. And even actually in the next couple of months, it's probably going to propel back higher as well. So the fact that we haven't slumped to 18, 17 or even 15,000 for Bitcoin means that it is actually just trending and we are now seeing possibly a move slightly lower before we find some support and a bounce higher but if we just zoom in I just want to show you uh, the 20,000 uh, mark here on the blue line and as I said this vast essential of the bear market but if we just move a little bit closer uh, I've just been uh, tracking what could be a slight consolidation zone at the moment roughly between 20 to 22 20 uh, 20 two and a half thousand with the assistance of the Ichimoku indicator as well we're seeing that prices are being way quite lower at the moment but if you see here we are seeing this kind of a double bottom uh, forming and if we see another move to the downside then we could actually see just a slight move possibly to 19,000 or eight just under uh, 19,000 and then another move higher and this will be a key indication if prices can break past this previous resistance and then start moving higher then that uh, 28,000 30,000 uh, dollar mark will possibly come into fruition by the end of this month or end of the quarter at least so something to look out for in that respect as well if you pull this onto the four hour chart a lot of traders are asking me for intraday um, analysis as well well if we just move back at this choppy action here before the vast dissension as I said we're seeing these bottoms uh, occur and I'm thinking that if we do see another move to this eighteen and a half thousand possibly nineteen thousand and get some support then bids will be put in buyers will be back in the market and a bull market could form as I said and it's easy that Bitcoin can shoot up at least ten thousand dollars in price <clears throat> excuse me in price in a couple of months time so it's not something out of the question so just keep an eye on the headlines keep an eye out for anything that could be possibly moving bitcoin such as you know these recession fears it's inflation fears a lot of traders are not only moving to gold as a safe haven but also cryptocurrencies as well so bear that in mind if you are looking to uh, see what the next move is on the crypto space at least ethereum as well just bring this on a daily chart first of all because again like Bitcoin since this fast dissension that we saw um, at the beginning of 2022 we are now looking actually even if we pull that further back at the back end of 2021 as you can see here uh, if we pull this back now very strong bear market but consolidating quite nicely now and I've been tracking this for a few sessions as you can see here uh, a bounce at the lower end of uh, $900 which is quite significant it didn't fall through that however as you can see very choppy uh, trends at the moment so expecting another slight move lower before a possible bounce uh, whether we'll get to 900 or not will remain to be seen but if we bounce higher like Bitcoin and start moving higher above this uh, last resistance zone and or more importantly into the Ichimoku cloud if we break that bottom border then prices can start propelling and we can really see a bull market start emerging like Bitcoin Ethereum doesn't need that much to start moving higher and propelling even further to the upside as well and on a four hour chart as well we are now seeing a possible uh, you know it's moving in tandem like Bitcoin for myself you know this choppy pattern uh, moving to the sideways view and as you can see here roughly about $1,000 which is quite nice psychological zone uh, that could be a, a very good bottom and a possible uh, support as we start moving higher and we're going, getting back into this bull market so as I said uh, look at all the factors that are affecting a cryptocurrency space at the moment it's not just Bitcoin and Ethereum it's obviously Litecoin Ripple all the big heavyweights of the crypto space 
they move quite in tandem with each other when one's dropping the other one is usually dropping as well so you know sell positions can be advantageous as well uh, which is why we live trading CFDs which is uh, something we uh, specialize in so uh, thank you very much for watching my video once again any comments or queries please feel free to add them to the post and we'll speak again next time for the latest in fundamental headlines bye for now